The Commons on campus is where the Shana Clears gather for meals. 90 minutes before the first test of training camp, players were loading up on breakfast. I got an hour to eat my little Commons McGriddle, so I'm going to eat this and in about an hour I'm going to be good to go for the running test. Each position coach eats with his players for every meal during camp. I think it's important that the guys get nutrition, you know, and especially with this heat and it's going to be a vigorous camp, so make sure they get the, get the protein, nutrition in their body. And um, all sorts of time for bonding and you know, talking to them and finding out, you know, what's going on in their life, too. Every player knows the running test is going to be grueling, but that isn't putting a damper on fun in the locker room. Put it on, Whit. Put it on. Come on. Whit, put it on. Look, look at this thing. <laughs> Wait. Your face mask touches your face. And just remember the big head. Damn. David Durant. Hey. <laughs> 2010 camp. 8.15 in the morning, you see that? 8.15. We got uh, Brandon Archer right here. You see he got the steel toes on. They won't, they not gonna budge. They not gonna budge nowhere. Steel toe crease khakis. I'm something like the clown of the team, you know, but at the same time, I know how to take it serious also. So when it's time to go on the field and take it serious, I can take it serious. But at the same time, I wanna have fun because it's all about camaraderie around here. We gotta be a team, we gotta have friendship, that we gotta have a strong bond. And to have that strong bond, you gotta have a strong friendship. Show the camera the run. Come on, Fred. No, we, oh. hey, you know, we ain't yeah, seen it look good. Uh, we ain't seen it since freshman year. Come on, get your legs up. Let's loosen up. First day back. Go! Brian Gabriel is the Shauna Clear's new strength and conditioning coach. He's put an emphasis on speed in this year's conditioning test. This test is going to test one, sprint endurance and mental endurance. What we can do in that. We're going to find out who's done work over the summer. That's what I'm about to find out. This test is a half gasser. It's 53 yards of there and back. The O linemen have to make it in 20 seconds. DL 19, combo in 18, skill in 16. You do not make one. You miss them all. Right. Just OL. Ready? Go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Stay with the front of the group. Come on, touch and go, touch and go. Go, Dexter. I don't want to be first, Dexter! Moon Edwards started Chesterfield High, winning three straight state championships and dominating 1A football in South Carolina. But in his very first college drill, Moon Edwards was learning about a long-standing Bennett expression. This ain't high school. Trainer can't help a cramp too much other than stretching. Oh, yeah, I should have stayed here, baby. Should have stayed here! Come on, Moon, don't stop. Don't stop, son. Touch and go. Touch and go. You ain't gonna get in shape. We gonna get you there. Quick, man, let's go for yourself, Moon. Let's go! Get on the line. Get on the line, Moon. Get on the line. Come on. Come on. Let's go, big baby. Oh, you ain't ready yet, baby. Go, 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 go! Hey, quick! It's just just a different ball game from high school, you know. Got to work extra hard. High school going to be 10 times easier than what this is. But just can't quit, you know. I did five good. Did the last five weren't so good. But I just learned you got to work harder in college. It's a different ball game. You just got to keep going, keep striving. Of the 90 players who ran, 80 passed. For 10 shots, their day will begin 90 minutes earlier at 6 a.m running until they make a passing grade. You make them all, Jamie? You were close. You missed one? Hey, son, I appreciate your honesty. Those of you out of shape, shame on you! Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Hey, bleed two on three, bleed two on three. One, two, three, bleed two! Derek Frazier would have liked nothing more than to go through the rigors of running, 
but the Shauna Clears 2009 starter at inside linebacker will not be playing this season. Frazier was one credit short due to getting a D in his major and got the devastating news that he will not play in 2010. Frazier will redshirt and be allowed to practice when school starts. It starts sitting in about three days ago that I wasn't going to be able to be out here with him, so it's, it's kind of it's kind of taking a toll on me. But um, I told him I promised him that I was going to be here, so I will be here. I mean, what's the lesson you're going to learn from this so you're you know you can move on? Um, uh, when you need help, ask for help, and that's not I'm just not talking about classes, just talking about in life in general. And when you need help, because it's like if you're overwhelmed with something and you really need help, ask for help because. Ask for help will probably make it easier on you and make it easier on you in the classroom because stress is not too much stress is not good. Some stress is good, but too much of it, it's not really good and didn't help at all. If you hear a kid's academically ineligible, you usually think, oh, that kid didn't study, he's not smart enough. Not Derek Frazier. He's got a 3.0, like I said, but if you make D's in your major here at Coastal, they don't count. So therefore, he made some D's, didn't count, and only passed 17 hours for the year. You got to pass a minimum of 18. So he's not eligible. He's going to use it as a practice year. He'll be a heck of a developmental player on the scout team. I'll promise you that. Rashid Gauls can relate to Frazier's problems. The Conway native missed the 2009 campaign after bad grades. Now the bruising running back is set to regain his eligibility if he can pass his two summer classes next week. It, it takes for something to be taken away from you to know that it means a lot to you and that you, I mean, you broke a lot of people's heart. But my story is that I lost a couple people in my family. I went, I could say, 17, 18 years of my life without losing anybody in my family to losing five and six of them at the same time over a course of three years. And for me to be that young and having everybody there with me support me and to see that they gone, I just, I felt sorry for myself, you know, and in life you can't feel sorry for yourself. All you do is, like Coach Jordan used to tell me, fight over, forget it and drive on. And by using that, I mean, I'm bouncing back. I'm paying for it now, and I'm working my tail off right now to impress these coaches and let them know that I can be accountable. Pretty little spot right here on campus, isn't it? Hammer said this is the coolest spot on campus. 16, the first casualty 16, of training camp 18, came from the conditioning 19, test. 20. Starting center Pat Williams tweaked his hamstring while he was running, leaving the Shauna Clear scrambling to find someone who could fill in in an emergency role. Always remember this, though. You'd rather be low than high. You'd rather be low than high, like a, like a dang shortstop. An infielder catching the ball, he can get it in the dirt. He can't get it when it's over his head. Get a little more bend in you, son. Get your butt down. There you go. Eyes up. You can't look back at him. Ah, the boy. Much better, Johnny. Much better, Johnny. I'm about to be the backup center. Backup center. I got you, Pat. Until you get a bat, boy. Your boy Hart got you. The CCU coaching staff was anxious to get to work in practice number one, and the energy level was high. All right, my hands on his toes. All right, I'm trying to get a race to a knee lock with that snapper inside of me. Slash whatever, it don't matter. It's off, new play. Got it? Hands up. When I point at you, do your hands way up. Quick release. All right, take your drop. Period six. Coastal has 12 10-minute periods, and the staff will not waste one second. The Shauna Clears used to do all of their running at the end of practice, but this year, the sprints are broken up into four sections throughout workouts. Just changing it up, doing something different. You know, after every three periods, uh, we'll do a little bit of running. The seam stay right there. Slide it, slide it, slide it, slide it, slide it. Yeah, whatever. You look like you'd be doing some line dancing, son. You do line dancing at weddings, don't you? Oh, yeah. I figured you did, son. <laughs> the line dancer. Yo, Steve, you ain't got a 25 yet? Ah, Parsons. 25, Parsons. Knock them out. Knock them out. <laughs> the final sprints took their toll. This is what hard work look like when you cramp up. Hard work. Uh, the running's been different this year. Um, but I feel like we're in better shape as a team. I feel better personally. 
Uh, it's just a matter of these first couple days, kind of getting your legs back a little bit, getting in football shape. But so far, I feel great, and uh, I think we've looked good running. High intensity. Um, we had a lot going for us today. We was ready. was excited to come out here, and um, we got at it. Hey, I said, I said this to the summer group, and I meant it. The first couple of days are going to be hard running, just to see where we're at, see where we're going. But that's a good job today. I want y'all to know that. I'm proud of y'all for doing the work, putting it in. Lessen the complaints and just let's keep going. Let's keep moving forward, all right? Yes, sir. Let's get it, baby! Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. We finished strong today, fellas. Get better, get better. Every day we get better. Get better on three. One, two, three. Get better!